Hey there everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Alundra 2. Well, time to head for the Church of the Key. the or again. They were mining massive amounts of ore near Puerto Medusa. Well, more like it was under Dunweb. And now it seems that the ore has been taken to this place. That still leaves the question of what do they need all this ore for? Oh. Oh, these enemies are annoying. I, I'm gonna look around here and see if there are any rocks that I can throw. See, the reason they're annoying is because it is extremely difficult to hit them without getting hit yourself. The best way to kill them is to throw rocks at them. I don't think using the Dryad Ring on them works, because if it did, that would just be too easy. I could try it? Yeah, it does not. Seriously, look at the range on their attack. Look, 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 look at that, look at that. Seriously, the hitbox on that is ridiculous. And unfortunately, there do not seem to be any rocks around here, so gonna have to do it the hard way. Actually, wait a sec. I wonder, could this work? Oh! I either did not know or forgot about that technique. I really didn't know it, because I feel like I usually have trouble hitting those things. And there we got ourselves a key. Whoa! They don't have very much HP. They're not easy to land a hit on. Unless you have one of these. I think down here is a save point. Yes. And we can't actually get up there yet. Yeah, I'm actually going to go ahead and save over the second slot. Probably start keeping two save files during recording, just in case. Because my PC has been crashing semi-frequently lately. Can I hit 
hit you with sunburst from all the way over here? No, I cannot. Oh my gosh. Do not like these enemies. Oh, come the frick on, game. Friggin' die, okay. Oh, another one falls. Really? Wait, did I not hit it with that first attack? Time to swap the rings. That goes back up to where we were. These... They... Do... Something. Oops. Okay, that one jumps. What the heck? Why is that last one, like, barely staying up now? Okay, there we go. that lowers that, so now we get to that chest. Well, now we can open this door over here. Oh. Oh yeah, wasn't there like a puzzle piece just casually hidden in one of these? Oh yes, there was.
These things have an absurd amount of HP. And I will never understand why. Anyway, we get ourselves a treasure chest, which contains an elixir. But more importantly, it also serves as a platform so that we can jump our way across this. Oh, right, I forgot some of those were trap chests. That's 500 gold, so the other one has to be the key. Here's a fun little puzzle that we can do once we get the uh, final ring. Oh man, nothing for that? Okay. I am happy to say that those enemies are not going to be found in any other dungeon for the rest of the game. Ah! Oh right, these chests are... oh yeah. You actually have to use these to light the torches. A little bit tricky.
Yeah, these ones are better lit with this. Oh, I forgot that was for a puzzle piece. Oh, no, wait, it also opens up those two doors. Okay. Oh, no, wait, that's a small life crest. Well, nice, because instant HP restore as well. Now, the question is, which door do we take first? I can never remember. Because we do have to go through both of them, but... I think one of them has a locked door at the end or something. I also tend to get stuck here when I play because I feel like there's always a key that I forget or miss around here somewhere that always makes me feel like a dummy when I actually locate it. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna ignore that and just go in here for now. Oh. Okay, looks like I went the right way. Or maybe not. right there, I think. Okay, it's the other chest. It's no wonder I miss this sometimes, because it's just kind of off to the side here where you probably wouldn't really look when you're focused on just dodging lava and enemies. We have enough gold to get that elemental orb. Okay, nothing for that. Well, let's just use the teleporter to get back then. Alright, time to go this way. I was a troll. Thank you. 
Oh, hi, puzzle piece. Okay, we have to actually use the platforms to get up out of here. I swear, for just a second I thought one of those Naga things were going to be in that. Wait. Can I? Oh. Thought maybe I could jump on its head. Yeah, I thought that was a trap. There's the locked door that we need that key for. Yeah, another one of these little guide the flame around puzzles, except this one can be a little annoying. For obvious reasons. I don't know, maybe there's some kind of surefire trick to make it work, but getting it to actually land on that bomb has always been a little bit frustrating. Actually, is there anything else hidden in here? Thinking maybe we could make it melt all these plant tower thingies. I call them plant towers. I mean, what are they? Yeah, they just look like they they look like big like towers of thorns with like leaves on top. There we go. Okay. Eh? Oh my gosh. That was frighteningly close.
Yeah, that definitely does more damage than just doing a sunburst. So, here's an interesting little trick. So obviously we can't, you know, jump up onto a barrel from, like, base level, but... If we toss it down here onto this first step... You know, preferably closer to the platform we're trying to get onto... Okay, that should work. And we get 500 gold. I was expecting a key, honestly. But hey, not bad. Up here is where that runaway minecart was. More gold. Well, you know, I shouldn't be complaining about getting more gold because it will be useful in that other mini game place I've mentioned. Even though you don't technically pay with gold, but you can buy tokens. Oh, wait a minute. I think we need to go out here first. I think? Wait, are we supposed to go over here first? Wait. Yeah, I, I think, actually. I, I think we are. I think you have to, like, go up here and do something, and then you have to, uh, go back and, uh... Like, go back to, like, the other side of this thing. Yeah, I'm gonna equip the pixie ring, because we're gonna need that for a puzzle here soon, that I remember. Welcome to one of the most annoying rooms in the entire game. There, there will never be green pixie block platforming worse than this. <sighs> Already screwed it up. Dang it, what the frick? Okay. It's all about the timing of when you hit these things. Okay, maybe I kind of overblew it, but still. That did used to give me a lot of trouble. Okay, yeah, it's just a dead end up here. Yeah, we kind of figured that out already. are these kids even able to do this? Like, like the fact 
that she was even able to get up here means that she has, like, freaking platforming prowess on par with Flint. Ah, shoot. Yeah, I think the Children of the Crown could probably save the kingdom by themselves if they all just work together. Okay, getting to this was simple. Well, now we can go up here. Oh yeah, we could have gone up there the whole time. It's this platform here that we can ride now, because it wasn't in operation a little bit ago. This right here is where that boat departed. Wait, didn't we already meet all of them, like, in the underwater cave? I thought there were just, like, four children of the crown? Like, that has to be them, right? That explains what was in that empty chest we found. Seriously, how are these kids able to traverse these environments? Why did I never question this until now? I know it's an like I know it's an RPG, but Like, it's not like these little guys are, like, freaking, like, mages and, you know, superhumans or anything. They're just a bunch of kids. Well, I think we know what they needed all the ore for now. Kinda looks like a giant key.
Oh, here we are back in Tortuga Beach. And I, I don't know why Flint walks off in that direction, because the exit is right over here. Or, wait. Never mind. I really want to save my game. Please don't crash. And for some reason I was remembering them dropping Flint off at like... Like the last screen before you exit to Toralito. Next time, we're going to be heading off to Mount Fire Drake. See ya, everyone.